Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla here with another video. Um, this should be the last update on my uh, Gundam Wing Revival project for a while. Um, once this is done, I'll move on to actually reviewing, uh, reviewing and showing off the kits that I've finished. So, without further ado, here's where I'm at on Shenlong. Uh, first of all, everything... Uh, that you see in here. It's all painted, pre-assembled, ready for decals and panel lining and top coat. And that's the instructions for the bootleg Leola sword thing. Okay, and we've got the uh, parts here for the torso, which is yet to be assembled because I was busy doing some detail painting. Um, just like all of the thruster units on the kits so far, I've painted the inside of the bells silver and uh, the inner core which is like a ball joint gold. Um, so that looks pretty cool. I uh, painted the pilot figure. And there's Wu Fei. And, uh, like I said in a previous video, um, I wanted to do some, let me see if I can actually get a close-up here, some detail work on the shirt. And you can kind of see it. There's some gold on there. It's in a very rough shape of what the dragon looks like on a shirt in the opening scene, uh, opening sequence. Um... But, you know, it's so tiny, you're not going to be able to... No one would be able to paint those details, but I just did it like a rough shape. Um, <clears throat> and there's the cockpit. Painted up him in there as well. Um, now for the monitors, I painted um, the actual monitors silver. And then I applied uh, a clear smoke over the top. I've never used the clear smoke, really, so I wanted to kind of see what I could do with it. Um, darkened up the silver pretty cool. Um, I mean, it doesn't really look like anything as far as what would be on a monitor, but I just wanted to try it out. I'm not going to be able to see it in the cockpit anyway. And right underneath of his hand, I painted uh, a part of the control panel. Oh, if it'll focus. Um, silver with clear orange over the top. And that produced, um, I've, I've never used this, I just bought it recently. Um, and that produced a really interesting looking gold, which I'm going to use on something. I don't know what yet, but I thought it was cool. So, I'll be doing that. And last, I think it's last, yep, is the actual Leola sword itself. Uh, painted this all by hand. Um, you can kind of see brush, st brush strokes in the red, which I'm not sure how to get rid of exactly. Um, I've done a couple of coats, very thin, I thought it was self-level, and it didn't. I'm hoping a top coat will get rid of it. Um, painted the edge silver, and that's about it with that. I don't know how well Shenlong is actually going to be able to hold it, because the handle is poorly molded. It's supposed to have a slot for that peg system that the EW kits have in their hands, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out very well. So we'll see what happens. Um, and I think that's it. <coughs> um, Sandrock is finished. He is uh, being proudly displayed over there with the rest of my Gundam Wing kits. And I will probably show him off uh, in a couple of videos here. So, until next time, guys. Happy building. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas if I don't make a video before then. Because finals are coming up. Actually, finals are tomorrow. I have a final. And I'm, like, freaking out about it. But whatever. And, uh, you know, Christmas time is very busy. So I don't know if I'll be doing another video or not. So... Yeah, happy building, Merry Christmas, 
etc. Bye!